Robbie, just get your thoughts first of all on that game. <laughs> you don't know. You don't really want to know what the thoughts are. Um, I think, I think first half we looked a really nervous team. I thought, it, I thought we started okay, but we looked a really nervous team, and um, obviously we've got some young players, and sometimes take you a bit li literally in terms of you know we recognised that Swindon had a really high line, um, but we looked for that too often and gave the ball away. Uh, on many occasions and Swindon were very good and they're a, a, a really good team they're on a fantastic run um, so yeah so at 1-0 at half time really calm at half time just reminded the players for what we believe in them um, they need to believe in themselves and each other a little bit more in, in moments like this and I thought second half we were outstanding I thought we were really really good I thought um, we dominated the game second half first half we, could, we were lucky to be 1-0 let's be clear but second half, I was so proud of them. I thought, you know, for, for for where we are at the minute as a team, and to come here and play like that after the knock of the first half, I thought was really, really positive for us. We showed some really big balls in there, and um, obviously really disappointed to lose it in the uh, lose the, the three points right at the end. But I can almost I can almost gloss over that because of how we responded at half time. So at half time, we were lucky to be in the game. So to come away with a two true, even though it's really frustrating, is it's got to be a positive. What was the, the key at half time to, to change the formation from the first half into the second half? We changed formation a little bit, so credit to the staff for, for highlighting areas where we can hurt them. But it was more a, a change in mindset. Um football's never gonna be easy and um there's always gonna be difficult moments and we're in a we're in a painful moment at the minute. It's going we're going through a little bit of hurt. Um so it was just really telling the players why I brought them to the club, what I see in them, and to go show it. And I thought second half we did that. You started George Broadbent and he got his, his first goal for the club, first goal in league football as well. How pleased were you with him today, his goal and his performance? Yeah, again, first half, um, we struggled to get control of the game. Him and Aaron, second half, um, almost dictate the play. Um, George has got unbelievable physicality. I know he needs minutes to, to really build that, but he's a powerful player. Um, technically very good, um, so he's he's really pleased with his with his goal. Obviously, he took it very well. Um, but I wanted I wanted to to see more physicality in the team today. I was so disappointed last week with our data, um, and today I'd I'd expect it to be really high. And we need to produce that all the time to have a chance in the games. You brought on Liam Kelly as well at the same time as, as Abraham Udu and uh, Liam. You know, it's a great finish from him, one, wasn't it? And you must be pleased with his impact as well. Definitely. I just said that to the to players in there. I know when I name a team, I'm going to have half a dozen players who think I'm useless and all the rest of it. I get it. I was a player myself. But what I do expect is when they come on to make an impact. And they do that. And, and they did that today. So um, I have to say I was really... You know, I've talked about substitutes, I was really disappointed we couldn't get our third sub on. We notified the fourth official on two separate occasions he was ready to go on. He couldn't work the board. Um, it didn't look like he could. And he's telling us that the radio went down from the fourth official to, to ref. Well, that's what the ref's saying. And then the fourth official says, oh, he's just told me that the ball came back in play too quick for a sub. So, listen, I'm not making excuses, but we'd have liked to made that third substitution both tactically and to get some fresh legs on and you look at that, that goal at the end as well just touch on it it came down I guess the side where AD White would have, would have come on as well I, I'm not I'm not going to go down that yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to say that was the reason because we should defend it better so what I was more concerned was I had a substitute ready and on two separate occasions when the ball went out of play I couldn't get him on and that may have helped us in that situation it may not have but if we're, if we're doing our job properly I expect other people to you mentioned uh, the data from last week. Is that in terms of sort of distance covered and intensity? What, exactly what? that. Yeah, we've got to run. We, we, if we want to be this forward-thinking team, forward-pressing, um, you see it second half compared to first half. We, we, you've got to be able to run. Um, so yeah, our our better results have come when we've hit hit high figures. Um, you know, it's always been a, a key figure with the managers I've worked for, and there's no difference to to this level. And were you pleased then with the response in that second half, not only in terms of the intensity and that, but also the, the play on the ball as well? Yeah, definitely. I know they're good players, but we need to have a bit of belief. And obviously when you're on a, a run like we have been, confidence is low and confidence is such a massive thing, especially in young players. Um, so they'll come through the other side. They're learning on the job, but we need them to learn quick. And I think 
The feeling that we had at half time was frustration in many aspects with, with ourselves. The feeling at 90 minutes is frustration we didn't hold on to the three points. And that second half performance, can that give us a really good sort of foundation and, and springboard now to go into Tuesday? I hope so. We've got a bottle what we've done today, second half. That bottle, that feeling of anger with ourselves that we didn't see it through and take it into Tuesday, definitely. But um, it's. It, <sighs> It's down to me to pick the right team for Tuesday, but it's also up to the players that take the pitch that they start the game like we finish like the second half today.